right, time to take the big boy out of the fridge. This is heavy. <laughs> I always do a 20 pound turkey because we have a lot of people to feed, but also because that's what I've always made. So I do it the same every year. Okay, now the brine worked its magic overnight. The salt works its way into the turkey meat, makes it really tender, kind of makes it juicy, but it does make the surface of the turkey really salty. So I'm gonna give it a really good rinse. Get in the crevices. It's like giving one of my babies a bath. And then I'm just gonna submerge the turkey, whoop, right into the water. And I'm just gonna let it sit in there for about 15 minutes or so. And that'll make sure all the excess salt in the cavities and on the skin gets washed away. All right, now I'll just stick the big guy on a baking sheet. I've got some paper towels on there. And I wanna get him nice and padded dry before I put him on the roasting pan. Okay, nice and dry. Now you don't want the wings sticking out while it roasts. So I just lift up the bird and tuck him in as tightly as I can underneath. Okay, now for the legs, I'm just gonna tie them together, tie it nice and tight. Now I've got some really heavy aluminum foil. Just tuck it over the handle. I want to trap as much heat in the pan as possible. Now for the first stage of cooking, this is going to go into a 275 degree oven for about three to three and a half hours. All right, the turkey's been in the oven for three and a half hours. I'm getting ready to take it out and get it ready for the next stage. I'm going to smear butter all over the surface and I'm going to flavor the butter with rosemary and orange zest. I've got two sticks of butter. And I'm gonna add a good amount of finely minced rosemary. And then I shaved some orange peel off of an orange and then cut it into teeny little slivers. Gonna add a little salt. And then just mush this all together. This orange rosemary butter is a nice nod to the brine mixture. The brine has both in it. Okay, now it's time to flex my muscles. I'm gonna get the turkey out of the oven. The house smells divine. All right, here we go. One, two, three, up. <laughs> Woo. And I'm gonna raise the temperature to 375 degrees. That's what the turkey will need on the second stage. All right, I'll take the foil off. And that is exactly what it's supposed to look like at this stage. It hasn't gotten brown yet, it's just started the cooking process. So I'm just gonna use my hands, because it's faster, and I'm just gonna smear the butter all over the surface of the turkey. I want the orange zest to kind of stick to the surface of the bird, it's so pretty. Okay, now, my father-in-law Chuck is the only member of our family who likes stuffing in the bird. The rest of us like it in a baking dish, and I'll just stick it in the oven before the guests arrive. Nan and I always joke around that Chuck likes soft food. Everything he eats, he wants it to be nice and soft and soaked in liquid. And that's why he likes his stuffing in the bird. Now the very last thing to do before it goes back into the oven is to insert the meat thermometer. I've got a heavy duty one here and I just stick it in the really thick part of the thigh. And that's the only way I can really tell if the turkey's done. Now the turkey's gonna go back into the 375 degree oven for about two to two and a half more hours until the temperature reads 165. And while it cooks, I'm gonna baste it every 30 minutes with the golden butter and the juices to make sure it's golden brown and awesome.